Hey guys, so today we're going to be making homemade crunch wrap supremes better than Taco Bell. This was so good, y'all. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. So I am starting out by uh, browning my ground beef. You can use ground turkey, uh, ground chicken, or if you want to use like a meat substitute, that would be perfect for this too. And so I'm just going to brown this. Um, I am adding a little bit of adobo seasoning. This is totally optional, um, but I, I think the adobo adds a little extra flavor. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of onion or maybe a lot of bit of onion, depending on how much onion you like. This is totally optional too, but I just like onions. And so I'm adding that to my taco meat. Now I'm just gonna add two uh, packs of taco seasoning. I was able to find the Taco Bell seasoning packs at the store, but this is totally optional. It all tastes the same, honestly. Um, but I thought I would use Taco Bell since this is supposed to be a copycat recipe for the Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme, okay? Now you're gonna add a little bit of water according to the seasoning pack. It tells you how much water to put in there. So I just filled up the little seasoning pack with some water and put it in the pan. I'm using an extra large tortilla or what I thought was an extra large tortilla. And I'm just putting my cooked taco meat inside of my tortilla. And so be careful not to overstuff uh, your tortilla because I learned the hard way and this was so hard for me to close and fold at the end, child. I was so over it. I had to scoop all that off that tortilla and start over, but it's cool. Now you're gonna add some cheese sauce on top of your ground meat. Now I'm adding a little bit of cilantro. I don't know if Taco Bell does this, highly doubt it, but I thought that would be a nice little uh, taste to the crunch wrap. And then I'm putting some uh, tomatoes and then I'm gonna put my tostada on top of that. A little bit of sour cream. Uh, this is totally optional. I'm not a huge sour cream fan, but um, I saw a few other people put it on there, so I thought I would put it on there too. Now I'm just adding some shredded cheddar cheese and then also a Mexican three cheese blend that I thought would be pretty good in this crunch wrap. Next, I'm gonna put some taco sauce on there. I couldn't find the Taco Bell taco sauce, which was a little disappointing, but I mean, taco sauce is taco sauce, right? And so after that, I'm just gonna put a small or a regular sized tortilla on top, just so that when we fold our crunch wrap over, you won't see all of the other toppings. It'll kind of just be sealed off. And so, of course, I struggled, like I said, because I overstuffed it. And so I ended up having to redo the folding part. And so this is me trying to show you guys how I folded it. And I was still busting at the seams, as you can see, but it still turned out really good. And so you're gonna put some oil in a pan and make sure your pan is hot. And then I'm just going to brown these on both sides. Make sure you put the folded side down in the pan so that it can be nice and sealed and golden brown. And then you're gonna brown it on each side for about two to three minutes or until it's brown um, and crispy.
and this is the final product you guys this was so nice and yummy and creamy and cheesy and meaty y'all not gonna get this at taco bell make sure you make this recipe it was super fun to make really delicious way better than taco bell um, and you can customize it at home and put whatever you want inside please make sure you like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye